Lieutenant, a word. The command called to his human counterpart. The human came over, bowed slightly, and stood next to the Begani commander. Both sides had decided that saluting the Begani shouldn't be done, as the simple hand gesture for the humans was both difficult and insulting to the two Begani. The Begani commander stood silent a moment, picking his words carefully. The badge on your men's shoulders. What is that symbol? I don't recognize it in your library. The lieutenant responded in a sharp, clipped voice. Sir, that is the Reaper's scythe, sir. The commander noted that the human was still standing at rigid attention. Sometimes the discipline they showed was unnerving. At ease, lieutenant. At ease. This isn't an interrogation on irregularity. Merely a curiosity. What does the badge symbolize? The human relaxed and thought about it, then said, Sir, the Reaper is the one who comes to collect the souls of the dead. The men wear the symbols to emulate that thought. So the Reaper is a deity? A god of death? No, sir, the Reaper is more. While there are a lot of Reapers in our myths, you have the Valkyries, warrior women with wings that come down over the battlefields and take the souls of heroes to their resting place. And we have the Grim Reaper. He's the one with the scythe. He collects the souls of the dead and brings them to their final judgment. You have Lomoretti, Ibis, Kronos, the list goes on. So these are simple guides, bringing people over from one life to the next. And everyone on your planet believes in these creatures. <laughs> no, sir. Most of us aren't religious anymore, but some things stick. It's been almost 3,000 years since the birth of the last godling, and we have forgotten and twisted more of his story around than we may ever know. And these symbols and icons are older than him. So that scythe, it is a weapon? A banner for you to rally behind? Kind of. The scythe is originally used to cut grass. I'm confused. Are human souls to be found in the grass? The human laughed. He couldn't help it. By the time he was able to control himself enough, his troops had finished filing past. I gotta go, Commander. I'll try and find something for you to read on the subject if you'd like. He bowed again slightly and marched after his men. The Commander was puzzled, but let the matter slide. It wasn't until six months later, on a joint task force mission to the small moon colony of Hashada, that he understood. The humans had perfected urban warfare. The Begani commander shuddered at what might have caused them to include house-to-house -house infiltration, a standard part of their training. He watched as they built, built up barricades and dug foxholes, dodging incoming plasma fire and responding in kind with their primitive railguns. They were fighting Bindari, pirates. A small fleet had come to raid and the commander's unit had been called in to deal with it. They had destroyed the fleet overhead, only to find one of find out that most of the pirates had already fled to the colony in, in intent on using hostages. He heard a Bandari war cry and saw the multi-limb monstrosities following across the streets. Intent on taking down an outpost, the Bagani troops fell back, moving to the next rally point. No sense in dying when you can increase the strength of the next point of defence. The humans didn't move, they didn't fire, they simply waited. The Bandari flowed closer, 50 metres, 40, 20. There was a ripping in the air as if a thousand swords all s snapped through the air to smash against stone. The Bindari, who once flowed down the street, propelled by several dozen tentacles, lay in hundreds of pieces each. The humans had rigged wires across the street, and with a single twitch of a button, the wires had snapped tight. Cutting through the oncoming tide, they moved methodically through the carnage, dispatching any luckless survivors. The fleeing Begani stopped and turned. Seeing the people they had determined dead meat only a few seconds before now roamed the battlefield with impunity. He understood why they wore the scythe badge. They had dispatched an enemy as if they were cutting down grass. They were going through co collecting the souls of the dead. A cold shiver ran down the commander's spine. The humans didn't wear the badge as, as an honorific or a reminder. They wore it because that is what they were. They are. Reapers.